96, I think, was my first one. That was pretty cool. That was my first year of high school, and I, yeah, got to be sacrificed on an altar in, you know, in the middle of South Auckland. It was up on, up on a big hill. Um, and kind of my first, I think, my first TV gig. So it was nerve-wracking as all hell. I remember the read-through. I remember the read-through was quite funny. I did, the, I did the whole read-through, and then the director comes up to me afterwards and goes, it was an American guy, he goes, David, that was great. Um, you can just do a lot less. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. You know, like 13-year-old, like, at stage actor, just doing as much as I can, you know, and it was, that was, yeah, so that was interesting. But, yeah, that was a, a very exciting, exciting, um, yeah, thing to be a part of. And then 99, I think, was the next one where I, where I was back being an angel, uh, Gabriel's guardian angel, and, um, yeah, had wings attached to the back of me, big mechanical wings and doing green screen stuff and up on, you know, up on wires. And so both of those were really, really, um, yeah, big, quite big growing things, I think. I think it was really the biggest things that I'd ever been a part of as an actor. So they were really exciting at the time. I remember the moment I got it. I, I was, uh, it was after school and I, uh, Got, I started walking, oh, this is so funny, I can remember exactly what it was, started walking from the train station home, but then my mum met me halfway and came to pick me up with my sister, and then I got into the back seat and she got in and she said, you got that wrong, and I was like, what? Yeah, so I remember, I remember exactly what that was like, it's really funny. Um, and then that was, yeah, really, really exciting. It was really cool to be a part of, you know, I think all I'd done before that was Xena, so it was just, you go in and do your bit and then you get out. And this was, you know, you get rehearsal time and you've got a season of scripts and you've got, you know, a cast that you're now a part of. You're the core, core cast. So, yeah, it was, again, another step up and another really exciting time. I ummed an art on that one. I went back and forth going, should I do it, should I not? And I'm so glad I did. I, um, I got lucky with very, very cool cast members. Um, Anna Hutchison was just awesome to have and has grown into a really good friend now. Um, and Jason Smith was awesome on it and um, Holly Shanahan. So I got lucky with a really cool cast. I also, I guess I got kind of lucky because I wasn't a ranger until the second half. So the first half, they had all the workload and I was just their mentor coming in doing crazy scenes and then going off and playing golf in the afternoon and they were f staying on and doing the hard work. So. Um, so that was, but it was, it was really fun and, and now has turned even more fun. I just did my first convention, which I'd never done before and it was amazing to see how much that show means to so many people around the world. It was, it was uh, very eye-opening and, and really rewarding actually. That was one of the best parts of doing the show, I think. That was cool. Again, coming in, I think I was in the first couple of apps and then I went away and came back again. Um, so yeah, that felt a bit more comfortable. In fact, I had a really cool moment on Legend of the Seeker. I remember I kept messing up a line and um, I, it was a moment where I stopped and noticed that I wasn't um, compounding that by getting more nervous and noticed that I was actually okay with messing up the line. And, and although there was this huge American crew all around me and New Zealand crew all around me, I was just okay and I just realized that I messed up and I was just going to do another take and that was a really, I remember that being a really big moment for me going, wow, I'm, I feel comfortable on a set, which was a really cool, cool moment. Yeah, it was funny, you, you're, you're either the guy who doesn't look like he did it and then definitely did it, or you're the guy who totally looks like he did it, but then he didn't, you know, so, and I've done both of them on, on the two different shows, but it's a, it's a beast and it just is... Uh, you know, a, a, you're a cog in a huge big wheel, and but they all know what they're doing so well. It was amazing going along, and um, you know, I was really nervous going on this big set, and I went in and did a scene, and then came out and was just standing by one of the lighting guys, and he was like, "Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, great. And what's going on?" And he's like adjusting lights, doing things. He's like, "But they're so good at their job. They've been on for what I don't know, 15 seasons or something. You know, ridiculous." And uh, so everyone was just amazingly good at their job, and. Yeah, it's just a, it's a formula, really, and, and they're all very, very good at it. It was huge for, yeah, and, and I mean that in a few different ways. It was huge for me to get a lead in a film. Um, it was a huge beast to tackle. Um, it was, you know, for, for heaps of reasons. One was 
playing somebody that's still alive. Um, doing a rugby film in New Zealand, it's automatically like, oh gosh, that's going to be tough. Um, I'm a huge rugby fan, so it was pretty awesome to be able to pull on the black jersey, even if it was while cameras were rolling and not <laughs> to jog out onto the field with the boys. Um, and it was great. It was just, a, I f I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of the work that I did and the work that I put in and the work that paid off, um, in, in my opinion, of, for the show. Um, so yeah, it was big. It was, yeah. I think nerves are good. I, I embrace them. I, I definitely have them in, in really everything I do. I know I said on that Legend of the Seeker thing, I didn't compound it with nerves, but you still have nerves. It's like a running race, I think, when you get on the start line, you, you have those nerves and it's so, so nerve wracking. And then once that gun goes, the nerves kind of disappear and you're in your thing. But to begin with, I think they're, they're a great thing to have. It means you care about what you're doing. Which, so yeah, so I, I like them and I use them when I need them to, to get energy or feed or do something. The vibe on set was incredible. I think we were really lucky to have a lot of the same people from Outrageous. It was, a, it was actually the perfect balance of the amount of people back from Outrageous and then new people coming in. A lot of new actors, obviously, but um, some of the, a lot, all, all of the same directors, or I should say all of the directors had uh, worked on Outrageous as well. Um, it was great having Tony, obviously, who was a huge part of Outrageous and then, you know, is a huge part of this, so that was great. But yeah, um, wardrobe, makeup, um, uh, producers and obviously the writers are all all the same and and so the onset vibe was it was one of the best I've ever been a part of it was so professional and we were dealing with a lot of um, you know they're really dense heavy scripts that deal with a lot of a lot of dark issues but at the same time it was professional but then really fun and between takes was just a great you know it was easy to to break out of the characters and have a lot of fun so I actually auditioned for Lefty to begin with, uh, um, Ted's right-hand man, um, and auditioned for that first, and then they asked me to audition for Ted, and it was, yeah, it was quite strangely intimidating. <laughs> um, you know, Frank did an incredible job with, the, with that role, and he, it was an iconic show, but even within that, he's made a, created a very iconic character, so... Yeah, it was intimidating, but I, um, yeah, put it, put it down on tape, and they seemed to like it. It was a bit of a, a drawn-out process to get there, almost over a month from go to woe. It was important to me, obviously, to honour Frank and what he'd done, and, and you know, New Zealand knows that character so well, so it was important to take parts, but then it became abundantly important to make it my own. I couldn't, I couldn't be doing a caricature or even a character of, that Frank did. I've got to make it my own. So, yeah, that was a challenge for me, was, was, was taking those bits of, that was so great about Frank's character and trying to incorporate them, but then really grounding it in, in my own stuff. He is a, a liver of life. He loves life, loves fun, loves family, loves friends, loves having a good time, has a really strong moral code uh, and a strict um, set of rules that he lives by. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's so funny. It's so funny, you know, when you, when you create that character and then you, you said, you know, he's a criminal and automatically I go, no. You know, I'm, you know I, I, maybe I am, but I'm, you know, not, I'm not screwing over poor people. I'm doing it to the rich people. Who does, you know, there's, it's so funny. You so, sort of justify what he does. He feels, I think he feels um, justified in what he does. We went into battle together. It was really cool. We, we were both um, uh, struggled with, with creating the characters. I mean, you know, for, for different reasons. You know, she had, obviously had Loretta and... Um, and Rita is just so different, um, but it was really great to have each other. In, in the rehearsal, we had a, just about a week of rehearsal, so it wasn't a long time, but um, it was really great to have each other to, to bounce ideas off, to go, have you got it? Because I haven't, you know, and, and for, for the other person to go, no, me neither, let's, let's keep working, let's keep going at it, let's trust it. We know, you know, we just had to say to each other, when we start rolling, just trust it's going to be there and... and um, yeah, I've seen it now, and by the looks, it, it was there. She is, she's amazing in it. One of the keys for me about living in LA is, is not pinning everything on those auditions, and I think that's one of the reasons that I've been able to um, live there for so long and survive, is, is having those things on the side, creative things on the side, have a creative outlet. So I'm, I'm writing and directing and editing and shooting stuff all the time. So. Um, I've just finished a web series, a 10-part web series that we shot with a, ho a whole lot of Kiwis up there, which has been fun, and Americans all mixed in. It was great. And um, 
yeah, I've done a few short films and sh shooting sketches all the time, fun little things to chuck up on the web. And then working on a documentary um, about rugby in America. So um, yeah, keeping busy all the time with, with my own stuff, which is, yeah, a lot of fun and really fulfilling actually, it's cool.